Hi everybody, my name is Beth and I am the Steadfast Stitcher and welcome to my Floss Tube channel where we talk mostly about cross stitch. I'm so glad you could be with me today. I have some whips to show, some haul, a little bit of plans, and I do have the giveaway winner which we'll announce a little bit later in the video. Now I've got my stack of whips here and I can't wait to show you what I've been working on. Some of these are oldie but goodies. <laughs> and um, one I'm hoping to finish by the end of this month so that I can start Arabesque with Laura from Stitching by the Shore and uh, Stitching in High Heels as well. So I'm hoping I can get this one done by the end of the month. We'll see because I'm going to be doing a lot of driving this month. All right, first up is Winter Salt Boxes. This is the one I'm hoping to finish. And when you last saw it, I had a, that little tree right there and a little bit of white. And that was all I had so far. And now, where is it? <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. So I got a little bit more white done. I did some work, did the roof, and getting down into the building, and did my first snowflake. I am doing this on 20 count, dying for cross stitch, and it was the July fabric of the month. And I absolutely love this one. It is. I love the blues and the browns in this. I think it's so pretty. Let me see if I can show it a little bit better. Bigger piece. So I do plan on doing both of the winter salt boxes on here. Um, but I do want to get this one done by, this first one done by the end of the month. So then I will have two finishes and I can have one new start. I was watching Amy Gable Stitcher the other day, and she's doing the same thing with um, her plans are two finishes and one new start. And if you have not watched her channel before, do go check her out. She has got some stunning samplers and other pieces that she's working on. They're gorgeous. <laughs> she hasn't done a floss tube in a little bit, so I was really excited when I saw her pop up on my notifications. So I do love her channel. So it's Gable Stitcher. I will link her below. And do go check her out. All right. So that was one of the pieces I worked on. Now this one I did a thousand stitches for two different challenges. So <laughs> Stitches So Beautiful is having a challenge um, to post monthly. Nope. For the month, you post weekly <laughs> um, progress on how, how you're doing on one of their pieces. And then as long as you post weekly, you get um, a free pattern at the end of the month. Um, it's this really pretty Easter egg mandala. It's just gorgeous colors. And then whoever stitches the most gets a free pattern, I think, of their choice. But I will link their Etsy site below. Um, it's serious eye candy if you love full coverage projects. Do go check her out on Etsy and I will link her below. But she's been really expanding and she's got some stunning, stunning patterns. So this first, this one that I worked on for the challenge was Red Fox. And it's from Dutch Lady Mystic Arts, and it's charted by Stitches So Beautiful. But look at the colors on the fox, and I love all the blues in here. It's just beautiful. So this got used for all kinds of challenges. I had it for the Stitches So Beautiful contest, uh, Lion and Lamb, which is a full coverage contest on whip wires, it worked with my acrostic. It worked with Laura's uh, Stitching by the Shore Facebook group I Spy Challenge. So, <laughs> it got used for everything. Oh, even in my Harry Potter cross-stitch game, too. <laughs> now, so you can't see really any. There's no fox yet. But I did put in over a 1,000 stitches on it since you've last seen it. 
this past week. Blech, my hair just wants to go everywhere today. And so yeah, you can see some of the blues are starting to come out here. This is actually mostly all, um, I believe it's 989, very dark navy blue, and then more black down in here. But yeah, this is a fun project. It's a big one. It's uh, 290 by 400. I actually have another one by Stitches So Beautiful that I've started that's bigger than this one. But it's a good size project and it's a lot of fun to work on. Uh, we have someone in my group, Rebecca, in my Crafts and Books group on Facebook. Um, she's quite a bit further than that. She's got the whole fox head done and down onto the body, and it's just gorgeous. So I'm excited to put some work in on this one and get a little bit done, hopefully, every week. This coming week will be a challenge because I'm going to be on the road a lot, but we will... We'll, <laughs> we will see what happens. Hello. <laughs> All right. So this next one, I changed up my 25-7 piece, which I also call my desk piece. I keep it with me when I'm working so that on my lunch breaks I can put a few stitches in. So I changed for April to a new piece. And I am working on Village Sampler from the Prairie Schooler. This is a really pretty and fun design to work on. Lots of blocks of color. I really like this pattern. It's fun and it fit into several of my challenges as well. And the last time I picked this up, I had only gotten just a few stitches in. So the last time you saw this, which was quite some time ago, I don't even think I think it's been at least six months since this one has been out, but I had only gotten a little start on this. And so all I had was this green border on top here. And so now I've picked it up this past week. And like I said, sometimes with work, I only get a few stitches in on my lunch break, but it gets some work. So that's the important thing. I'm going to try and block this off so you can, can't see through it. There we go. So I got the roof done, uh, the chimneys done along the top, um, one of the windows here, and starting on the house itself. And this is a fun stitch, although this is not my favorite fabric to work on. I, the white does at least show up on here really well. This is the called for, which is 18 count putty khaki Davos. And so that's what I'm working on with this one. Yeah, this is a fun stitch, and I love my villages and houses, so <laughs> I enjoy working on this on my lunch break when I actually take one. Sorry for the zippers. And let's see. Next up, this is one that I started um, back in October for Laura's birthday, uh, Stitching by the Shore, Laura. She does a pumpkin birthday sal every year. And so I started this one last October. And this is Pumpkin Colored Autumn. And it's by Owl Forest. And it is a free pattern that you can get on their website. And I just, I really like this one. The squirrels, the fox, the cat, all the pumpkin houses. I just really like this pattern a lot. <laughs> this is fun to work on. And I couldn't resist getting the Owl Forest threads. In fact, I got a few packs, uh, thread packs from Owl Forest at the same time because um, shipping is kind of expensive, not kind of, it is expensive to get the Alforce threads. So I ordered several at one time and it was the same shipping cost as it would have been for one. So it worked out a little bit better. It was a less, to, less of an owl getting, <laughs> buying, paying the shipping for the threads when you get multiple at one time. So I am doing this is also dying for cross stitch. 
and this is Winter Wonderland Medium, and it is 20 count, and it's with the Cowl 4 Owl 4 threads. And I put in about 300 stitches, no, three, a little more than that, on this pumpkin right here. And look at that. It is so pretty. I love the squirrels on this one. They're adorable. Not sure where I'm going when I finish this big pumpkin, but um, I might, there's a little cat that's right over here, so I'll probably do that next. This is a very fun stitch. I am going to bring this on the road with me. Oh, hold on. I do apologize. My allergies are crazy right now. But I do plan on bringing this on the road with me to work on. I don't know how much stitching I'm going to get done, but I'm going to bring this one and probably that winter salt box that I just showed um, in the beginning to take with me because I'm driving, so it'll be whenever I stop. <laughs> If I'm not too tired, I might get some stitching done, but we shall see. But yeah, I love this piece, and it is so fun to work on. Just beautiful. Oh, get back in the bag. And this last one that I worked on... <laughs> It's a long dog, and it's a pilgrim. I love this piece. <laughs> it is so fun to work on. It's, I love all the elements to it, and yeah, if I had the desire to be a monogamous stitcher, I might just work on this one alone for a long time, but there are so many pieces I want to work on. <laughs> So what I got done in this is I added a flamingo to the pattern. Not to the pattern, to my stitching. <laughs> so this is a big one. It's on 18 count, Ada. And that's where I'm at. So last time there wasn't a, there was no flamingo on here. And there's now a flamingo. And he's so fun. And he's standing on top of something um, that I'm going to try and go for next. That's why it looks like his feet are joined together. <laughs> but those legs were something else with all the little bends in them to keep track of. This is fun. He like said it's 18 count Ada. And I am using DMC4245. And its nickname is Mystical Midnight. And it's getting hard to find. Um, I cannot find it in um, like the big box stores. But I can order it from 123Stitch. One, two, one, two, and I just have a little bit of this skein left. But let me see if you can see the colors here. This is like purples and dark blues. And it's just a lot of fun. I really like the way this is playing out on the fabric. And then I'm thinking I'm going to use, I pulled also the colors that go well coordinate with that 4245. And so like I have DMC 327, which is showing up lighter on screen for some reason <laughs> than it actually is. Kind of a weird lighting day outside. I can't decide if it wants to rain or if it wants the sun. Um, there's a little bit of been a little bit of both all day today. But so like I'm thinking of like using this for the um, the words dare to dream. And I'm pulling in some different colors. So like I'm using all black for the raven, but then for his little hat here which I've turned into a halo, I'm using purple etoile. So, yeah, this is a fun stitch. And it's going to be a big piece. <laughs> I am, I think I'm around 20% done on this. 
maybe no i think i'm a little under 20 percent. i'm 25 percent on that pumpkin colored autumn i just showed so i'm a little less than 20 percent on pilgrim but i love this whole village up on top and see oh now you can see some of the color variegation in here lots and lots of fun I do love my long dogs. I have a few of them <laughs> that I have as whips. And then I think I have a couple that are waiting in the wings, um, like fish and chips I want to do eventually as well. But I've told myself I have to finish one of my long dog whips before I can start something new because I've got one, two, three, four. I'm going to say five long dog whips. <laughs> Oops. All right, so let's see. Oh, Hall. I blame Sarah for this in our group. <laughs> Hold on. Well, I'm going to have to show them as pictures and clip them into my video because my printer ran out of ink. <laughs> Here I thought I went running upstairs and think I had printed everything off and nope, I'm out of ink. <laughs> so better for the forest and trees anyways. But all right. So, Hall, I blame this on Sarah in our group. Um, she had given me a heads up that they were having a sale. Um, Stitch is So Beautiful was having a 50% off sale. And she had bought one that I just loved. And I think it's called Favorite Things. And so, I'm going to put pictures of the four patterns that I bought right here. And I should note that two of the designers... No, sorry, I'm saying that wrong. One of the designers that I bought two patterns from um, is no longer on Stitches So Beautiful. So uh, the two ladies that I bought, you're not going to be able to um, purchase those. But there are still a ton of beautiful patterns on Stitches So Beautiful. Um, do go check them out. So I'm going to put pictures of them right here. Now, as far as plans go, um, I am going to be road tripping for a bit over the next two weeks. So I'm bringing some easygoing projects with me that I don't have to worry too much about lighting, magnification, all that kind of stuff. Um, but during part of that trip, I have a planned stop at the brand new hobby house. And I cannot tell you how I'm excited I am to go check out that store. Um... I always wanted to go see it when it was in the little log cabin and didn't get the opportunity to. So I'm so excited that I'm going to be able to go see their new location and do some shopping. And it'll probably be my last big splurge for a while. <laughs> but I definitely am going to be doing some shopping. Um, other than that, I'm going to keep working on my challenges and hopefully get that winter salt box finished. So that I can start the new pattern with Laura and stitching by the shore and stitching in high heels. Now, how about the giveaway? Let's do that. All right. So this is Manny Didana. It's Home Harvest Home Pillow. Really cute design. And I had asked you to use the word harvest. And the winner is, dum -da -da -dum, drum roll please, Amy. Amy Swihart. You, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. <laughs> but you won. Congratulations. I'm going to put my, um, link my Instagram below and my email address. I do check my Instagram though more often than my email. Um, so, but send me your address and I will get that out to you. Congratulations. 
So that's all I've got for you today. My plans for the rest of this evening are doing a little bit of packing, laundry, watching floss tube, and I think that's it. <laughs> I will see you all in two weeks. Oh, when is two weeks? Oh, that reminds me, I almost forgot. Okay, in between uh, now and my next video, there's going to be 24 hours of cross-stitch, um, which is the 19th to the 21st, I believe, Friday to Sunday. So my Zoom room will be open all weekend um, for 24 hours of cross-stitch. Um, we're currently open a little bit different times during the week. But we'd love to have you come join us for 24 hours of cross stitch. We are going to be doing some giveaways. Um, it's usually a great group. Um, Saturdays are usually our busiest and I love the, um, that we get people from all over the world on Saturday afternoons. It's fun. But I will link our group below, Crafts and Books. And I hope to see you there. So have a great two weeks everybody. And I will see you then with my next video. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Bye. <laughs>